Okay, so let's create a new project inside of Xcode, and I just uh, I want to elaborate on something that uh, I talked about on the uh, Cartoon Smart forums today. Uh, Michael posed a question about uh, listening out for certain things. He's kind of trying to pick apart some of the code from the Storytellers Kit, uh, which uh, because it's all properties driven, uh, I felt that there was more code that he needed in there. So I, uh, I kind of typed out some of the code in the forum, but I'll, I'll go right in a video here too. And uh, let's uh, so let's just set up a new project, iOS game, click on next over here, and we'll just call this uh, uh, listen for something. All right, there we go. And there's gonna be a Swift and Sprite Kit uh, project. That's probably every single new tutorial will be. Okay, so over here, go into your game scene.swift file. Let's get rid of everything inside of the did move to view statement. And then let's leave in uh, the touches began statement and we'll do a little bit of work. Actually, we don't even have to. Let's take that out of there. Just anytime you touch the screen, no matter where it is, uh, we're gonna do something inside of here. Uh, and that'll be uh, incrementing up a variable. So let's just make a variable. So there's gonna be var, uh, my var, and this will be an int type. So that's an integer, we're gonna set that to be zero. And then what we'll do is increment this upwards uh, by one every time uh, you touch down the screen. And if you wanted to write that the less fancy way, you could always put it in here, my var equal, um, equals my var plus one. Uh, but uh, you used to be able to do plus plus, but now in the most recent version, you can't do that. So if you, I guess if you really want to future-proof things, you could do that. But uh, let's do it, I guess, the slickest way possible. There we go. And then uh, what we're going to do is we're going to listen out with a, a, a function that we basically just call at a certain interval and test to see if my var equals a, a certain value. Now, you could do this inside of your update statement. So, for example, you could just write in here, if my var equals five, right, uh, do something, you know, and you can just print out, uh, that is now five, right? Okay, but this is gonna be running 60 frames uh, per second, so basically at the same frame rate as the app, and let's just build it while I'm talking, uh, which may or may not be overkill. You know, if you're just checking a, a, a simple little value like this, that's not a big deal. Um, but, you know, just depending on what you're doing, uh, maybe you're listening out for, uh, I don't know, many different things, some of them in certain spots. I can't really think of a great example, uh, but maybe you just don't want it to be run 60 frames per second. Uh, so what we'll do is I'll show you how to do this all with a, a SK action, then you can really kind of tweak the, the timing of it. But uh, since this has built, let's go ahead and just, I'm just pressing down here. And by the time, there we go, that uh, I get up to five, you can see that obviously uh, this is now you know, tell me that. And actually, there is one other thing that um, you know you might not want to do inside of here is that they're, they're, we're really not doing anything in this example to stop listening out for my var equaling five. So five. So you see that it's it's still running this even in the background. Uh, and of course, there's ways to prevent you know that you could set a boolean variable in there to you know if stop checking equals yes, you know it would prevent that. But again, that gets away from what I wanted to show you guys, which is how you can do this with actions. So let's come over here and uh, actually, first what we'll do is we'll just write a new function down here. So this is gonna be called check something. And this is what we're gonna rerun. So we're gonna rerun this until the condition is met, right? And uh, let's write a, a let variable in here, or basically just a, you know, it's an unchanging variable. So we're going to say let wait. It's going to be an sk action. It's going to equal sk action dot wait for duration. And here's where we get to pick out basically the interval at which we are going to rerun this. So uh, maybe 0 0.5, right? It could be half a second, could be 10 seconds. Doesn't really matter. And then what we're going to do is. Uh, create, create another action down here. This one's going to be called, let's just call it uh, one code, <laughs> lack of a better name. And this is also SK action equals SK action. Now here's the fun part of it. Uh, you put in here run block and just start hitting delete when it auto fills in the rest of that. And then just do your opening and closing squiggly brackets. And then anything you um, put inside of here is going to get be code that is run after, well, in sequence after this uh, wait down here. Now we haven't written everything yet, but uh, let's go ahead and uh, just put in here print checking value. And 
then what we'll do is say if my var, uh, let's do is equal than or, uh, or greater than or equal to five. Then we'll say print condition met. And if you want to, you could even spit back out the value of it by doing this uh, backslash or forward slash. I can't remember. I've never felt it was important enough to actually Google that after a video to check. Looks like I forgot to turn off my notifications. And then uh, what we're going to do is uh, nothing. I mean, we've kind of, oh, you know what, what did I do? Write this in the wrong order. Yes. No, that's not it. Uh, and a point that I meant to bring up earlier is you need to write self in front of anything that's going to be in these run blocks. So just put self over there and it's going to want you to do the same thing over this way too. So uh, fortunately Xcode knows what to suggest. All right. Otherwise, what we're going to do is rerun this. So we just call check something. And again, I'm going to have to put in there that self uh, dot check something. So you can see, and of course we haven't run these actions yet, but you can see what would happen here. So it's either going to essentially stop when this condition is met because after that we're not, we're not running this else statement. So it's not going to rerun check something again. Uh, but if that doesn't equal five or greater than five, then we are going to uh, just keep rerunning it. All right. So down here, there's a couple ways you could do this. Uh, let's just do it the longer way. Let sequence, and this is going to be sk action equals sk action dot sequence, and then inside of here, you can do your opening and closing, uh, just regular square brackets, not the squiggly kind. And then you just put in here the order that you want to run your actions that you set up earlier. So we've just got wait and run code. And then finally, what we're going to do is write down here self dot run action. And then we put in here that sequence. And we should at that point uh, have something that works. So uh, let's put in here one more uh, statement. So we'll just say rerunning uh, function to check. There you go. All right. And cue up the Jeopardy music in your mind. Let's see if this is going to work. Okay. And I'm going to uh, press down here. Pressing, pressing, obviously. Oh, you know what? We I <laughs> uh, got somebody out there, including myself. We didn't actually call check something, <laughs> right? I was like, how come we're not seeing those print statements? We forgot to get the party started. Uh, and there it is. So check something. And uh, let's not even worry about editing that out because who cares? We're still under eight minutes. <laughs> we only edit after eight minutes. Uh, no, I'm kidding. We don't ever edit. Uh, so let's uh, just click down here. Oh, well, you can see that what's going on. So it's just a rerunning function, checking value. And I'm, now I'm just going to press down. And you can see finally that uh, the condition was met. And after that point, we are no longer doing any of those checks. So uh, this, is, um, this is some code that I use uh, all the time. And if you guys ever are looking through some uh, Cartoon Smart projects, you will undoubtedly see lots of variables named wait. Or, and uh, usually I do just run for this. But I'm kind of worried one day they're going to say that you just can't use such a simple variable run. I don't know why. But uh, anyway, hey, we are uh, just uh, probably a day away from me starting the card slash board games uh, tutorial series, which is going to uh, lead into uh, pro hopefully w what is one of the best uh, starter kits that we've ever created, uh, something that you'll be able to, to make some really fun uh, board games out of and uh, endlessly entertain uh, your house guests with the big screen TV, uh, playing a, a board game, uh, you know, either passing around controllers or who knows, we'll figure it out. But uh, that is on the near horizon, horizon, horizon. Okay, so I'll see you guys soon and be sure to check out the website for all sorts of free tutorials and free stuff and paid stuff and everything else. All right, good night.